Hey guys, this is part two of the college apparel problem that I created myself. Um, so we're just going to finish up the constraints. So uh, this constraint was, this is the one we are on. I'm just going to highlight it. So at least two of each shirt must be produced. So that means for all shirts, we must fulfill um, the constraint of there being at least two. So we'll say, of course, when we see a for all sign, that means we start off with a loop. So for I in shirts, we want to sum over the amount of sets we produce. So um, LP sum, we're just going to use our x squared since we're just summing over the amount, and because it has to be greater than or equal to 2. So x squared I, comma, j. For, uh, for j in sets, since we already used i in our first loop, and that must be greater than or equal to 2. So again, what this does, it goes through each shirt. So let's say um, we are on red shirts. So it makes sure that all the red shirts for each different type of set produce, um, the sum of all those are greater than or equal to 2. Next, we have that each style must be produced um, at least twice. So for J in sets, and sets mean styles in this problem, we're going to do the same thing, I comma J, for I in shirts, since we already used our J, it must be greater than or equal to 2. Um, next, no more than 5 jersey sets can be created. Um, I'm actually just going to copy and paste the rest of these since it's a lot to type out. And I'm going to go through each one and explain. So, um, again, this is what we're on. It, no more than five jersey sets can be created. The reason I created this constraint, um, just in case you're curious, is that when we maximize our profit, profits with this problem, it's going to make there be a ton of jersey sets to produce because jerseys are the cheapest. So um, in order to create the max profit, it wanted me to have like nine jersey sets. And I do not want to create that many because I want to have a good mix of everything. So um, I did X fares and then I indexed it with jersey comma um, jersey S. So that means for the jersey set... Um, and again, we only use the jersey shirt for the jersey set, so that's why I don't need to do each one. Um, I'm just saying for the jersey set created with the jersey shirt is less than or equal to 5. Um, and then the next constraint is going to be that we want at least two red crop tops, and that's just exactly what you'd expect, a red shirt, comma, crop style. Um, we want at least two white crop tops, at least two black crop tops, and then the next constraint was that we want no more than five black shirts total because for some reason, I think it was because, um, I'm not actually sure why, but it created a lot of black um, styles, black shirt styles, and I just wanted a good mix of all the different color t-shirts that I have available so I limited that to five um, but again I'm not really sure why because these are all the same price so I guess it's just what it picked what the program picked first um, so I just did black comma J for J and set so it does a loop for all the different types of sets just for the black t-shirts less than or equal to five and then for the crop tops, I wanted at least six crop tops because those are probably the easiest ones for me to make. And if I'm doing a big trunk show like that, it just makes things a lot quicker. Um, so I did for all um, shirts, for only the crop top set, we have at least six. And then finally, the sum of all our costs for all the t-shirts. So we do cost times x bears. And then I comma J for I in shirts for J in sets is less than or equal to 300. So that is our budget constraint so that we don't go over $300. And that's about it. So then also just going to copy and paste this. Um, so we do our prob.solve. And then I just do what I normally do for V and prob variables. And I print the name 
and the bare value and it's going to tell me how many sets to produce um, and how many of like what each color shirt to produce for that set um, so let's go ahead and run let's see college and again I can't really verify that this solution is correct because I created this problem but um, let's just hope I I kind of put it all in my calculator just to see what the numbers are like and it worked out nicely so um, let's just double check our constraints so we don't have any uh, if you look none of the shirts like red or white are used for the jersey set you can see there 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 um, and then also here but we do see that a jersey shirt is created used to create the jersey set we also can look just at this jersey section and see none of the jerseys were used to create the other styles because they weren't supposed to be um, same with the sweatshirts if you look through no other shirts were used to create the hoodie set and no sweatshirts were used to create like a crop top a halter set um, only were used to create the hoodie set and you can go through and look at the other constraints and see um, that they were um, fulfilled and then this was really cool because it showed me that my profit if I spend 300 will be five hundred thirty five dollars about which is pretty cool and actually wasn't really what I was expecting um, and this is exactly what I was hoping for and so hopefully you guys could see how we can apply IPs to real life situations and so I hope you guys like this video and go check out my next video for more linear programming in Python